Kit bashing is the process of finding simple everyday objects and, as is popular in science fiction, reconfiguring them into spaceships, sets or objects used by the characters. As cheesy as it sounds, the only limit with this method is your imagination. In Ridley Scott's Alien, the production team raided various scrapyards and collected enough parts to create the majority of the Nostromo set, including the Nostromo miniature itself. This is a method that can be used effectively regardless of budget. Roger Corman would often utilize this technique in some of his early sci-fi productions. You can even see a couple of plasma globes being used to control a doomsday weapon in this clip from Battle Beyond the Stars. We use the kit bashing technique to create the cockpit set for our fighter pilot characters to sit in. After taking a page out of Alien's book, we visited a scrapyard and found a car seat, some pipes and various odds and ends which were spray painted grey and black to give it a lived in texture. Of course our set was low to the ground and unable to move, so we made sure to leave plenty of gaps in the set for us to shine lights through and create the illusion of movement as our actors sat still and pretended that their little fighters were being knocked about by laser blasts. We also created miniature spaceships using pieces of Lego for a solid foundation before gluing parts of an airfix model plane to give it the appropriate sci-fi look. We painted the finished models and shot them against green screen, replacing the background with a star field. It was easier to fix our miniature to a sturdy arm and shoot it upside down. We flipped the image in our editing software so everything was pointed in the right direction. By rotating the miniature we could give the impression that it was banking in space as we varied the magnification of the image depending on whether the ship was flying towards camera or away from it. 